everyone, welcome back to Style My Sweets. This is Rebecca. So today I'm working on a really fun, interesting, creative way to take your regular old Dollar Tree glasses and take them from plain glass to something really custom, unique, and glam. All you're gonna need to do this are the glasses of your choice, and I am using the champagne glasses from Dollar Tree. You could certainly do wine glasses, those are really pretty done with this, or you can do the water goblets or whatever ones you prefer. And then you're gonna need the glass stain, and I have the, its I guess it's kind of opaque gold one, kind of shiny and glittery, and you're filling, gonna be filling them in with this set of these transparent glass stains and they come in a variety of colors. I've got black, green, red, yellow, orange, and blue. I really wanted purple, so I ended up buying this purple one separately so I'd be able to do some in purple. And then we're, I'm making circles, larger circles, little medium circles, and tiny circles that I can just fill in with a drop and just go around the glass making these circles. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit time consuming, this project. It's not something that you can just do really quick and be finished with, especially if you want um, you know, more than one glass. One glass would be perfect if you're giving like a gift. You could decorate a wine glass as a gift. Um, it's pretty easy to do. It's just, it can be a little time consuming, like I said, if you are doing a lot of that. I wanted to actually do a set of eight of these champagne glasses. I don't really drink champagne, but I wanted to be able to use them actually for juice for a brunch. Okay, so just going around and making all these little circles here. And then once you make the circles, you have to wait for this gold, the gold paint for the circles to dry before we can fill them in. So um, at least a few hours to let them dry. You could let do it in the evening and then just let them dry overnight and come back and finish the next day. But as long as you give them at least a few hours, the paint should be pretty set up and then you'll be able to fill it in with the transparent one. Okay, so all my circles are finished here and now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside to dry. And once it's dry here, you can really see the difference. It kind of went from like a kind of like a grayish color, grayish brown to like a really more of a shiny gold. So you'll see it change color there as it dries. So these are dry now and we can go ahead and fill them in. You can do them all the same color. Um, you can mix colors too. I've overlapped some of the colors where you do one, let that one kind of set up and dry and then come back and add a second color on top and kind of layer like the yellow and orange or the orange and red kind of gives you like a little more unique or a little more intense color if the orange is too light and you want to make it a little bit deeper of a color um, I found that that worked really well okay so I'm going around doing this I'm gonna do some purple then some red some orange some blue and I'm adding a few that are green as well I found that the yellow paint of this it actually doesn't work very well I mean well it works it's just it doesn't it's not really visible I don't know for whatever reason the yellow one you can hardly see it even when I went back did another layer after it was kind of dry did another layer even with like two or three layers it's just you don't really see the color so I kind of wanted these to be a little bit brighter so I just the orange is like bright and colorful enough I think I'm just gonna go with that and then the other trick that I wanted to mention with these is the transparent one that I'm filling in the circles with it's really watery so it, it kind of tends to run so what I'm doing is just put like a little bit down the first time and let it start to kind of set up and dry and keep the keep turning the glass just keep like slowly turning it in my hand turning it and then you know one by one use other paint colors fill in the circles in the colors I want them to be you you know do one and then kind of turn the glass a full rotation do another one or two three whatever turn the glass another rotation and just kind of keep the glass turning like that as I'm filling in the circles so it's giving the paint time to set up and dry a little bit so it's not totally dry but it's not gonna be dripping and running off the glass and then once you've colored in all of your circles and set that aside to dry for a little while you can come back later that day or the next day and come back and touch up any spots you might see where the paint kind of like dripped a little bit um, even in the circle where you'll have like half the circles a little bit darker maybe and the other half oh, it's kind of not too much color there and you can come back and fix that up or just add a second coat if you want the color to be a little bit brighter and not quite as transparent. Thank you. 
Then once the whole thing is dry, I decided to also go around and do the same thing with circles along the base of the glass. And same thing, we're gonna let that gold paint dry as well, let the circles dry. Then you could just come back later that day or the next day again, like I said before, and now fill in the ones around the base of the glass. And I'm just doing mine the same. I kind of wanted to keep with the same colors that I had around the top, and I'm just gonna alternate that and go around the base of the glass with the purple, blue, some green, orange. The paint does kind of drip a little bit, like you can see here, so don't be afraid to just put on a tiny bit at first and let it kind of sit there and get a little bit sticky and set up a little bit, and then you can come back. And you can always add a second coat to really fill in the color a little bit later. So to fully cure and dry the paint, you can give it 21 days to air dry and fully harden on the glass, or you can heat set the glass. So once you're finished painting and the glasses have had 24 hours to let the paint dry, you can place them on a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil and put them in the oven. Then turn the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Do not preheat the oven because placing the glasses in a hot oven might cause them to break. So just allow them to heat up in the oven as it's heating up. And set a timer for 30 minutes. After 20 minutes, you wanna go ahead and shut off the heat and just allow the glasses to sit there in the oven and cool down in the oven for the remaining 10 minutes. Or like I said, if you don't wanna deal with the oven, you can also just let your glasses sit and continue to air dry for about three weeks or 21 days. Or follow the directions on the label of your paints if they say anything different. Okay, well, that's about it for these. I really love this. I thought this was the coolest thing. I saw some of these. Um, I actually saw them for sale online and they were selling for 20 to $30 a glass, hand painted. I don't think mine are quite as good. I am not a professional artist by any means, but I did have fun making this project and I thought it was a really cool, fun way Way to take some glasses from the Dollar Tree and make them a little bit more creative and give them the color and design to set up the table that I was looking to set them up for. So what did you guys think of this idea? Did you like it? Have you ever painted glass before? Do you have any other suggestions or ideas for painting glasses? I'd love to hear in the comments down below. I'm excited to find this idea. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!